Okay, hello students. Uh, uh, it's so nice to see you once again. Uh, so here we are uh, with the, the uh, one more session for you to uh, to go about. And uh, before beginning, I think I had given this thought as to uh, I will put a small thought into your uh, parents' head. So this tip for the parents as such. So solve for parents if they they will solve for patients only care only. I think it is one of the biggest worries. Not do maklo exam bari likhok tare how to send them. Uh, you know, yen preparations. What to do? I mean, I have a stammer, I have a feeling that I have to do my own exam. So, I have to do my own exam, I have to do my own exam, I have to do my own exam. I think, one thought is that you have to do my own stress, let that stress be with you. And then, that means, you have to do the solution, you have to do the solution. So, the solution is obviously, you have to do the sanitizer, you have to do the neat thing. उपयोग स्वस्थिति ली दिया अंतर नोट कर लिया तो निम्न रिस्पांसिबिलिटी आ गई थे मे भी मतलब सर्दन थॉट करो तो अंतर इधरे इम्यूनिटी है ना मक्कड़ा इम्यूनिटी है ना रेज मारो अंतर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी कंडी तो ना मैं लल्ला पेरेंट्स की देगा ये नो सुत्तमुतेरो एक हेड ताई दरे सोल्प स्पिरिचुअल मगुदो इम्यूनिटी इस तो स्ट्रॉंग ही दे इस तो नीट आगे यू नो सिचुएशन है ना हैंडल मार ले कागत है ना मियन क्योंकि उन से तीस आद बंद में ले टेंशन ना मत्ते जास्ती में भी सॉल्यूशन ही दे अंस्ते देने के वो टेंशन है जास्ती शाय ही गाय तलन तब बोलो दे रो दे बेटर प्रिकॉशन इस बेटर देन क्यों आरानो थॉट एक्चुअली सो पेरेंट्स ही टिप पेन ऑन थे इधर सॉल्व पे इम्यूनिटी रेज मारो योजने को इम्यूनिटी रेज मार्बे कदरे में भी फूड डेलीर बो दो नहीं कोड़ों ने तो फूड डेली इम्यूनिटी कंटेंट गड़े इधर वांटन नोडे आई थिंक द साउथ इंडिया के बंदरे तुम्बा सिंपल शून्टियन थेरती you do it, maybe food al kodi ato kashaya mad kodi. See to it that they are they are immunized. Immunity raise maadi kaagutta nodi. Maybe Covid situation al ishtu rajayali o inon thought barbe kitta yonon thay adhre yoga solpa maadbe kitta anstha de. Maadte dhe raan thay adhre very good. Makla na kut kodi si new side al kut kodi on hathya nimsha prana yama maadhi dhre anthay adhre maybe lungs strong agathe. Idhu naan illindu aachi kodta yadhe nanthay adhre ansko badi what is she talking about and I am doing it. That's why I am telling you. Meditation maadhu dhre anthay eshtu happy ir bodhu, bright ir bodhu, jovel ir bodhu anthay adhre most probably I am the example as such. So, meditation Meditation and yoga and our system will be tired because that is the age old content which was there. Mostly now we have brush off the side. I have an 8 year old child, he also does yoga. He does, of course, we have complained about it, but then we have to say that is the maximum I can give him. The situation is very difficult. If you have a COVID, you have to say that. If you have to say that, you have to prepare for society. How they are able to struggle or how they are able to kashta padu dhantala. They have to face it, the fact it. Not the exam ge hogo sthiti in there, the hindi baru tanka, you know, there is something called nima heart bile irate, you will be like waiting, hope nothing happens, nothing happens. And the same thing even I am carrying the mood as such. But then, yao precaution togol beko, then anna togol le beko. Immunity na raise maadi ke hundreds of methods. India is very strong in it. So, salpa research maadi, makra na ottu maad kondo, ad system anna mani olak tan kodi anta chanda sanna advise maadte dhe na nama ole da ke, na mellar ole da ke hel te dhe. Okay, so ee thought nain pit kondo. Let us go into report writing mathe speech writing anna session ega. So, this is the other question, it is speech writing or report writing. So, I thought about this in the last session. So, I thought I would input code. Please get into the session. All the best. Welcome to another session of learning grammar by Make Me Learn. This today's class will be about report writing. This is a very simple, I know you will be telling me that everything is simple for you ma'am, but what about us? This is again a simple one, you know, you have a graph like this, either, you know, you know there are different kinds of bar graph, this is a horizontal bar graph, we have a vector graph, we have a line graph, we have a sector graph, we have a pie chart, pie chart and sector graph are the same. What we have to do, why graph, you know, most of the people, 
uh, they are surprised to look at the English question papers because it has a graph in it and it has it has a sector graph in it. It has so many things. And people asked me, why have you written all these things? Are you going to teach maths? It's not like teaching math. We are just trying to improvise our language, our ability to write something. After having learned our uh, idioms and phrases, uh, pronouns, articles and prepositions and all those things, one after the other, I, when we were talking about those also, I told you that Learning grammar at that basic level improvises us. It helps us to reach a particular point wherein we can develop essays and paragraphs on our own. So the pronouns that we have learned, the linkers that we have learned, the idioms and phrases, the phrasal verbs that we have learned, all of them we will be putting use, putting into use in this report writing. Report writing is a five mark question dear students. So it has a choice with speech writing, uh, any of the two you can be writing, but let us learn both of them. Examination hall at that point of time, whatever you feel is comfortable, whether a speech or a report, anyway you can write that. So this question being for 5 marks, it says not more than 200 words, not more than 120 words, but please do not be foolish enough to sit and count the words. Okay, then nobody gives you marks depending on the number of words that you write. What content you write is more important. So let us just think that for a 5 mark question, our answer should be somewhere close to 3 fourth of a page. Okay, in your paper, in your booklet that you get in your second PU. So you will have to write down almost 3 fourth of the page, leaving around 3 lines or 4 lines or something like that. So keep that in mind and then you will have to elaborate on the point of this, on the basis of this graph. So when we start writing report, we will have to write it in three steps or three different places uh, as three different steps. The first one, it will be something like an introduction. So the introduction that you give to it or the first aim of the uh, report, it just talks the same thing about what is given in the question. For example, this question is about the production of maize and the sugar cane, the rise in the production of maize and sugar cane over these 40 to 50 years. From 1960 onwards, what is the change? What is the difference in the production of uh, maize and sugar cane? So that is the question. So you will, your introduction will be the graph, as well the graph talks to us about the production of maize and sugar cane from the year 1960 to 2000. So that will be your introduction. That's the first part. Second one, it will be the body of the report. So wherein in the body of the report, you will be explaining each one of them. You will explain everything in detail. See, you can choose either the x-axis or the y-axis and then you can give an explanation. So you can talk about the y-axis. This one is in lakhs, in lakh tons. Okay, so you can talk about this uh, or else you can talk about the year. Anything, anyhow you feel is comfortable. So you can say that in the, the, when you start the body of your report, you say, during the year during the year 1960, in the 1960s, the production of maize was somewhere around 20 lakh tons, while the production of sugar was around sugarcane was around 5 lakh tons. Then it grad and in the year 1970 also the same thing was retained. It remained the same. That is around 20 lakh tons of maize and around 5 lakh uh, tons of sugar cane. But during the 1980s, the production of maize came down while there was an increase in the production of sugar cane from 5 tons to 10 tons, while the production of maize came down to around 15 lakh tons. So that is how you explain everything. Let me finish off with these two also. During the year 1990s, during 1990s, the production of maize still more further decreased from 15 lakh ton to 10 lakh tons while the production of sugarcane it rose from 
15 or 5 lakh no 10 lakhs to around 15 lakh tons during the year 2000 2000 there was a steep rise in the production of sugarcane and it went up to around 20 lakh tons while the sugar the production of rice maize it still more it further decreased to somewhere around 12 lakh tons or 10 lakh tons depending on what you see here okay around 10 8 to 8 yeah 8 10 lakh tons it was reduced to so you just write down all these things nobody asks you for your reason you don't have to scratch your head too much as to what reason you should be giving why all these things have happened in case there is a clue given in your question about what the reason could be then you'll have to write otherwise just write down whatever you see just write as you can explain as neatly and as simply as you can explain and then finish it off do not stick on to too much of numerical terms there okay like when i talk about 7 lakh tons let it be like s e v e n 7 lakh tons okay Please try to, try to retain it in spellings. Do not write the numerical values. I know it is very easy to write 7 lakh when compared to the spellings. But this one will be more valuable than your numbers. So you just have to write and finish with the body of the uh, report. And then finally, when you talk about the conclusion of it, you just say overall, overall, uh, if possible, you can give a small reason on that too if possible. If you, whichever you feel is more convenient and more, you know, uh, kind of suitable reason, if possible, you give. Otherwise, overall, you write down here in this case, overall in these 50 years, five, five decades, we have seen that there is a drastic fall in the growth of maize while there is a lot more of increase in the main, in the production of sugarcane. So that shows that India has started growing sugarcane more, finished. And then you write down the conclusion of the report and that completes your report, okay. This is about report writing. So, so you will have to just write down, you don't have to copy anything for you in your examination. You will not copy the graph, you will just write down a report on it. So, you write the heading as report writing and then continue, just start with the, you don't have to mention also, don't mention introduction, body and conclusion, no headings, no subheadings. It should be one complete united paragraph about the report writing. So, this is report writing. So, uh, the, we'll, we'll talk about another example and conclude it off. Uh, probably in the next example, we'll be talking about a sector graph. Okay, now we have another example. I have made it more clear this time. I have written the complete question for you. And then I also have written the mark distribution for this one. So that will give you more clarity as to how you will have to write your paragraph. This pie chart over here, usually it is a comparison. Okay, comparison of these two charts. You have to write a report on age composition of the population of India in 2001 and 2011. So this is a chart wherein it shows the population and the age chart of the people in the year 2001. And this one is about 2011. What we have to do is we will have to compare the two and then write down what was the composition of the age in these two, age of the people in these two charts. During these 10 years, what was the change that we could see? See probably when they take out the census, they talk about the number of people between 0 to 14 and then all these data is collected and then they just provide a statistical table. So this one shows this. When we, now let us come to our work of writing a report. Again, as we had discussed in the previous example, uh, the uh, report has to have three contents. But remember, you need not write down the heading of any of these three. You will have to just write, start writing and then you will have to conclude it off. Don't write down anything like introduction, body and conclusion. Don't write and don't highlight it also. The introduction part of it, you begin the report by saying that the above pie chart or the pie charts given, they talk, they show us the age composition of the population of India 
in the year 2011 and 2001 and 2011. So, this still here, whatever I have underlined in the question, that will be your uh, title or you'll, that will be your introduction. Now, gradually you will start developing the report. You say that during the year 2001, take one sector of it. Take the 0 to 14 in both the charts, okay. 0 to 14, during the year 2011, 2001, the people, number of people between the age group of 0 to 14 were 34 percent. While during the year 2011, this number, what has happened? You can see from 34 percent, it has come down to 29 percent. So, you can use the word decrease. So, the number here, the percentage has decreased to 29 percent, okay. Now, take the next factor, next sector, 15 to 20, 59 years. During the year 2001, the number of people or the percentage of people between the age group of 15 to 59 were 59 percent. While it has made a, you can see a lot of improvement or you can see a drastic increase in the number and it is around 63 percent. 4% more than the 2001 chart and it is around 63%. Now go to the next one, the 60 and above category, 2001 there were 7% while 2011 there were 8%. So this contain, you know, you have to write all these things as the body of the, body of your report. So you, you can't just tell, so you can just guess at least. You, if you are, if you are not very sure, you can at least guess what could be the reason. So you can say that between 2000 and two, 2001 and 2011, when we compare the two, we can see that the overall change is in this, 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 and that. Okay, there is an increase, there is a decrease, and there are two increases here. So that could mean that during the year 2011, more number of children. Uh, between the year zero, age 0 to 14, they could not survive because of various reasons. Maybe because of the diseases, maybe because of some kind of infections and all those things. So, it, it has reduced and therefore the mortality rate, rate has increased. So, that will be your conclusion. See, don't, don't scratch your head too much about conclusion. Whatever comes to your mind, just a sensible one, finish it off. Okay. So, this is the report. Let us now understand how the marks will be dis uh, distributed. So, 2 marks out of 5 mark question here. Out of 5 marks, 2 marks will be given for the presentation of the data. Like how you compare between one chart and the other chart and how you present it without any kind of uh, foul languages used, any kind of mis uh, grammatical mistakes that you do. Without all those things, how you represent the data, how you present the data, that will be fetching you 2 marks and 2 marks for the analysis of the data. Analysis like whether you see an increase or a decrease, there is a steep increase or a steep decrease or there is a lot of change, all those things, those words that you use, that will give you 2 marks for analyzing the data and for 1 mark for expressing it. Your language, your flowery language and your super grammar that you use in your um, report writing in your language writing that will give you one mark. So, overall this will be for five marks and that is how your marks are distributed. All you can do, see you don't, you can't just collect everything and write down. All you can do is read more and more books in English and then improve your language only to make you score better in your examination. There is no other way out at all. So you can't practice anything. You don't have any practice problems or any practice questions. Yeah, one, if you read this, next time it will be something else. So you can't practice, you can't mug this up. All you can do is you just have to think quietly, sit and then improve, write down with all good English that you have. Okay. This is the second example about report writing. I think these two examples are sufficient for you to understand at least how to write the report because of the, you will be, be aware of the marks that will be allotted for different categories and you will also be aware of what kind of report you will have to write under what headings. Okay. So, this was about report writing. Let us meet in another session with another grammatical topic. So, that is all for now.